This is the NYX Sex Bomb Palette. And this is what I like to call goth chic. Really though, I decided to do a tutorial using the NYX Sex Bomb Palette because it's very affordable, only like $8. The shadows have good pigment and it makes a great either like sexy smoky eye or a goth look. So I wanted to make a red and black smoky eye, sort of a goth type thing with black lips without it looking too costumey. And these red contacts are just for funsies. So without further ado, goth chic. Keep watching. So I started with um, really, really, really pale foundation because that goes with this look. And I used a lot of the e.l.f. Elf zit Zapping Green Concealer so that there was no red at all and I could look really pale. And then after using um, the Alme Clear Complexion Foundation, I went over it with a lot of NYX Radiant Powder and Illuminate and Essence Cosmetics Matte Translucent Powder. And my brows were done. And then I go over my eyes with the NYX uh, White Eye Primer. And I'm just using the warmth of my fingers to melt that onto my eyelid as per usual. And I just get that all over my lid, and the white will help make the colors that go over it more intense. And then I go in with the red from the NYX Sex Bomb palette, and I just use the Sigma E55 to pack that all over the lid. And I'm just doing the very bottom part of the lid that is kind of like right below that natural crease you get and you just saw it when I opened my eye and I'm just putting it in there all the way across to create an almond shape but if you'd rather your eyes look a little bit more round then you're welcome to just put it on the center and then I go in with black and an elf contouring brush and it definitely would have been a little bit more effective if I used a smaller brush and you're welcome to and you should but I just used this brush because I liked how soft the bristles applied the color evenly. They didn't exactly blend it well, but it's even. It's not patchy, and that's always a good goal with black. So I'm just putting that into my crease and blending it slightly outward and upward, but not too much because we're dealing with black, and black is unforgiving. And then I just take an equal... Eco Tools blending brush and just blend that out. I blend it a little bit off camera as well. And I know, I know it's looking a little bit icky right now, but don't worry. Just blend that so there's no patchiness at all and don't worry, the harsh lines will go away. And then I'm taking the cool gray from the palette with a different Eco Tools blending brush. This one's a little bit smaller and fluffier. And I just blend that right at the top of the black and it's still harsh and I'm evading the camera right now and it's still a harsh line but I can just gonna keep blending and don't worry it will be fixed just keep on blending everything will work out I really should have done a lot of this off camera. And then I take the kind of skin color um, shade from the palette on a Sigma E40, just a super fluffy blending brush, and hit the top of where I blended in the gray and the black and right under my brow bone. And that's just gonna blend everything and get rid of any harsh lines. So we're totally eradicating any sort of harsh lines that could ever be possible. And I just go in horizontal motions, blending until I'm happy with how that color fades into my skin. And then I go in with this uh, little Eco Tools brush. It's like a mini version of the Sigma E55 with more black on the tip. And I just deepen the crease, more black, want it dark if this is goth look. And I also create an outer V, but it's only minimal. It's not going to be a huge outer V. It's also going to be a little bit like outer corner eyeliner, but with black eyeshadow. And I'm just blending this a little bit with that brush and then going back in with the Eco Tools brush and blending even more until all the harsh lines are gone. And you can continue to keep doing this until you're happy with how deep the crease is and how blended it is. 
I would just suggest blending and blending and blending and blending because you can't go wrong with blending forever and then adding more and then blending more until you're happy with how the look looks. And usually when I'm working with dark colors, I just blend for days. And then I'm packing a little bit more red on, just keeping that pigment there that might have disappeared. And on the inner corner, I'm just trying to blend it in with that gray. And then I take this shimmery, glittery color from the palette with a Ulta little tiny little filbert brush. And I just hit the inner corner with that. It's not as much of a shimmer and doesn't really have pigment. It's just kind of a glitter so that the inner corner and the inner tear duct and my brow bone will catch some light. That always brings an eye look together. And then I'm just tight lining my eyes using an Ulta Coal Black Pencil Eyeliner. Um, you are absolutely 100% welcome to go in with, you know, thick liner, thick liner or whatever liner you'd usually do. I've just been really into only tight lining lately. I have a really small lid, and so I feel that that looks a little bit better on me. And you can see how much this tickles my eye. I'm like spazzing out as I try to do this, but worth it it's for beauty and so I'm just tight lining the crap out of my upper waterline and it's important to hit the inner corner with that liner so that the liner blends seamlessly with your lash band and then I'm just curling the lashes with an Avon lash curler not a super important step I was just doing it and then I'm hitting my lashes with this amazing big and daring Avon mascara seriously it just came out and it's fantastic it um, has technology to keep it from clumping and to stay 24 hours. It is a little bit difficult to come off, so you'll have to buy makeup remover with it. And then those were Kiss 01 lashes. And this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla. I'm just getting that really tightly under my eyes and getting a really, really straight line where my eyeshadow ends, going from the outer corner of my eye to the tail of my brow. And then I use the Sigma F70 to just pat that out. Obviously, that's not enough to blend it. That's just what I'm doing initially. And I just get it really, really, really tightly under the waterline. I have really bad under eye circles. I think they're just hereditary. So this is a ne necessary step for me. I need some pretty thick concealer, and this one works great. Unfortunately, it breaks the bank. And then I'm taking this matte powder I talked about before with this Sigma foundation brush. I'll put it below. I forgot what it's called and I just blend that concealer into my foundation seamlessly and fill it in right under my eyes so that no creasing happens. The matte powder does a really good job of keeping that from happening and I just pat pat and blend blend. And then I take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk right underneath so that when I pack red under on my bottom lash line it will be nice and bright. I love this thing. Everyone needs this in their collection. And then I'm just taking the E55 with the red color on the tip of it and just brushing that under the lash line. I'm trying to get it pretty tightly under there, but it's not super important to do like a perfect job. And then I take the black on that little Eco Tools brush and I brush that just on the outer corner of my bottom lash line so that it kind of fades from the red to the black like a little ombre and I just blend that out with the Eco Tools blending brush. You can absolutely do a much thicker blacker line underneath that would go great with this look. I just chose not to. And then I use the same coal eyeliner from Ulta on my waterline and the same big and daring mascara on my bottom lashes and that's it for the eyes. Look at that mascara. It's fantabulous. Mm. Mm. And then I'm taking just this little Avon travel blush brush that I can't get enough of. And I'm actually taking the cool gray color from the palette because lucky me, it has like really, really, really subtle tan shades in it to make it work for like an edgy sort of grayish tan contour. And I don't want a heavy contour because I really want to look like a porcelain doll. That's the point. And then 
I sped this up because it took me forever, but I'm lining my lips with the same coal black eyeliner. And a trick for lining your lips, I like to line the very inside of them first, and then once that's done, then I kind of go over and overdraw them like a tiny, tiny bit. I usually do the whole lines first of my lips, including that step, and then I go in and do the corners and fill in the inside. And then for the cupid's bow, I kind of like to make an X there and then draw the sides out and then go back in and build the cupid's bow up. Kind of the same routine as on the bottom lip. And you just want to be really precise with this because you're working with black and it's just as unforgiving on your lips as it is on your eyes. And then I kind of like to draw my cupid's bow across as I'm building it and I'm building it even more off camera. This specific step takes me a while, so yeah. And then I'm going over it with Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Intense in Satin Black, which is number 50. And I'm not happy that this lipstick is kind of shiny, but we'll fix that. It does stay all day, though. It's not going to fade and give you, like, a, just a black line on the outside of your lip. And then I'm taking a Bare Minerals Concealer Brush with NARS Creamy Concealer. And I'm just going around the corners and cleaning up lines and making it absolutely perfect. And I just blend that out. It pr blends pretty seamlessly with my foundation, so I'm not too worried about setting it or anything. It's weird looking at my tongue this close. This is just a really good step for making sure your lipstick is seamless and it will help it from bleeding. And then I'm taking this little Ulta sponge tip applicator that I got in that 15 piece free set and I'm just taking the black eyeshadow from the NYX palette and just patting that all over the lips to make this matte and it will help its staying power. I just prefer matte lips. I'm one of those. And then I finish with Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. Please like, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed.